Hey, my crafty friends. In today's video, we are gonna share with you some of the best ways we have hacked our Cricut over the past couple of years. These are hacks that we constantly use inside of our craft studio that I know you're gonna want to learn more about. Are you guys ready? Let's dive in. One of my most asked questions is about my Cricut shelf. This right here is one that I actually bought on Amazon that we've linked down below that you can allow yourself to have multiple crickets stored on your craft table that is going to save you so much space with your cricketing and your crafting. We originally built our own and after so many people asked about it, we went on a hunt buying all sorts of shelves and finding the perfect shelf that you can sit your Cricut on. And it's this one right here. This is so good. I'll link it down below. And this is going to allow you again to have two or three crickets. If you have two Cricut Joys, they both can sit right beside each other. You could have a maker and an explorer, anything like that you can have right here. And this is your Cricut shelf. A lot of people have asked over the years, like, can this cut while on the shelf? And the answer is yes, it cuts really, really well. Um, and we have had no issues by having it on its shelf, being able to do the cutting. What I do recommend is having a really solid surface that your um, table is sitting on, like a countertop of some sort. I do not recommend folding tables because that makes it more unsteady. Um, and just like anything else, you do need to have the clearance behind the Cricut so the mat can flow. My next hack that I totally am obsessed with is taking this ruler, which I am obsessed with. I love, love, love this ruler, y'all. Like this is the specific one. It's a Westcott um, like stainless steel ruler. You can use yard sticks, you could use paintster sticks, but this one works the best. It's a 18 inch ruler, which I love. Here's what I do when it's on the shelf, and even if you don't have um, it on a shelf, you can still use this hack. You can open up this, place it in here, and now it is going to hold up up to your 12 by 24 inch mat, being able to allow it to cut perfectly and not letting any material pop off the mat. Whereas if it was hanging down, you know, typically things will fall off. So be very, very mindful of having this ruler here when you're doing longer cuts, when you're wanting to keep it all together. I highly, highly recommend this for your next Cricut project. Another big question that I get asked about all the time is the Cricut that I added wheels to. This is one of my favorite Cricuts. It's yellow. This is an Explorer um, 2 and I use it quite often. And I added wheels to this machine and we'll link the wheels that I purchased down below, but it's actually so nice to be able to easily move your Cricut around. And what I love about it is that I only added two wheels. I've tested this with four wheels. I've tested it with two. Two is the perfect number to where when you're cutting, it stays stable. But when you need it to roll around, you can lift it a little and it just rolls around your craft table really, really well. Um, and this is great for if you have a small craft space. If you have a small space where your Cricut isn't always go be stationary, you may have to fold it up, roll it around, things like that. This just allows you to not have to lift it, pick it up. You know, this thing weighs almost 20 pounds. So you'd constantly be picking it up, moving it around. And you can see if we go overhead, this is the wheels. They're super simple. They are adhesive on, and you are gonna be able to just attach them. And they're the tiniest little wheels that are gonna allow you to let your Cricut glide through. And where it has this you know, mechanism with the legs that are very short, um, it just sits right on there and it doesn't affect your cricketing or your cutting whatsoever. So you can just move it around. You can cut, 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 close it up, and then just push it to the side, weed your project, and so much more. I seriously am obsessed with these Cricut wheels and I think you're going to love them too. So I've linked not only the table, but also the wheels down below so you can give them a try. All right, my friends, what if I told you you didn't have to spend the money on the crazy Cricut markers anymore? Because believe it or not, Crazy Art has provided us with unbelievable quality. This right here was cut 
with these crazy art washable fine line markers. This is very, very, very comparable to the quality you are going to get with a regular Cricut pin, but for less than half the price. Like this is a crazy price comparison for the quality, but it doesn't stop there. If you cut and draw on watercolor paper, like we did in our sample, you'll be able to grab your watercolor brush and look, this is going to give you the look and the effect of watercolor without having to spend all that money on any sort of watercolor uh, marker specific. These are just the crazy art ones from the craft area of your kids crafting. Like this is insane that they have been able to kind of merge the two and you're not having to spend all that money on specific watercolor markers. You can just go around the edge Coloring this in, really therapeutic. If you've never watercolored before, I highly recommend it. It gives such a high quality look um, that I am obsessed with. So I'm going to go around this entire one and then come back and show you how great it turns out. All right. Do you see right here how cool and how awesome watercolor is? Now, I could have spent and sat here for another 30 minutes and colored in even more and added other colors or anything like that. But to use Crazy Art of all brands to create this awesome watercolor look without having to spend a ton of money and having the Cricut do the work, it is truly magical. So when you're out next, check in and see if you can find the washable fine line markers at your craft store or at your um, Walmart, Target. I have linked these for you as well. And who knows, maybe you'll have a better experience with these than you do even the Cricut pins. Now, if you're anything like me, you're cricketing a ton. You're constantly going to be switching out from felt to paper, vinyl, um, specialty material, woods, things like that. What I recommend for keeping your Cricut clean and concise is canned air. I think having a bottle of this around for your computer, your crickets, things like that, it is very, very important. You can quickly go through and just clean out any area of your machine. I find that the stars get extra dirty. So what I like to do is to go through and just spray through any of the stars and any of the mechanisms that are dusty. Sometimes some of this gets debris and things caught in it. You can just do a self-examination of your Cricut machine and just go through with your canned air and just clean it out. I've gotten so many random things stuck in this machine before. So you'll just want to be very careful and mindful. Um, you could even, you know, open up your blade housing, clean this out, things like that. But you won't have to do it often. It's just nice to have um, because if anything's dusty, any debris is stuck, I've just found canned air helps so much being able to clean it out. And especially if your machine is going on two or three years old and you've never done this, take about, you know, 10 minutes clean it and it'll look like a brand new machine again. It's actually really fascinating what canned air can do with the relationship of your Cricut and it'll help keep things nice and smooth, um, being able to run through the stars and everything like that. So grab yourself a bottle of canned air, keep it in the craft area and it's so much fun. Another thing I want you to know is that you can cut longer than 24 inches um, with Cricut Smart Vinyl. I don't do this often, I don't do this a lot, but Cricut Smart Vinyl can come in a really long roll and it allows you to cut longer than 24 inch, uh, which is traditionally the longest you can cut with that 12 by 24 inch mat. So this can allow you to cut like a pattern really, really long, really long text. It allows you to do so much while not needing to go all the way up to a Cricut Venture, which cuts really large sizes. This allows you to keep your maker or explore and just do the smart vinyl settings, which is super, super awesome. Now, my last thing I want to touch on is that we all know here at Makers Gonna Learn, traditionally, the Cricut Joy does not allow you to do print and then cut, which is true. But guess what? We have hacked the system and we have a training where you can do print and then cut with your traditional 
smaller joy. All right, so I'm gonna link that down below because you can hack it up and do a really, really fun print and cut ability with the Cricut Joy. But guess what? I got you covered. If you're looking to pick up a Joy and you wanna know my recommendation, the Cricut Joy Extra is extra. This machine right here does eight and a half by 11 and it allows no hacking needed for you to do print and cut. I absolutely love this machine. This is the machine that I want to keep in my kitchen. This is the machine that I think almost anybody could benefit from if they just wanna do simple print and cuts, simple vinyl, very simple cuts. This is your machine. If you don't have the space for one of these larger machines, this is your machine. You're gonna love it. I would even leave it sitting out on the kitchen and have no shame. So these are some amazing ways that I've been able to hack up my crickets throughout the years. It is an incredible way that you're going to love your cricket journey as well. All right, my friends, the next hack I want to share with you is if you have an explore machine, there is still a dial over here that you can move to make your cut setting. Don't do that. I recommend you leave it on custom. So you just want to take that dial and move it over to custom so that you can select your material very specifically in Cricut Design Space. No more going from paper to vinyl to iron on poster board, none of that. Leave it on custom and that will allow you to get the most custom cut every single time in design space rather than using the machine. All right. The next hack is for my Cricut maker friends. Where are y'all at? If you're like me, you're using your iPad, you're using your iPhone, you're using your Android, all of those things. Did you know that you can charge your device with your Cricut maker? Yep. They have a plug right here on the left hand side if, or the right hand side if you're looking at the machine and you can plug it in and you can charge it. You can also plug in the Cricut Bright Pad and it is just a great resource to be able to charge your devices up while you are crafting. I love it and I think you're going to love it too. So that one is something you're going to want to keep in your back pocket for your iPad and your iPhone. Out of all the different ways we have hacked up our Cricut over the years, which is your favorite? Let me know down below. Mine is hands down the Cricut with the wheels. I was a hater on this hack. So if you're watching the video and you're like, nobody ever needs wheels, y'all. Even if you have a ton of craft space, I love having the wheels on the Cricut. It's way more handier than you will ever think possible. If you've tried it, give me a comment down below. Tell me your favorite way that you've hacked your Cricut. If I've left anything out, I want to have a conversation with you down below. All right. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I am constantly posting videos with me and my entire team, making sure you guys master your Cricut right here on YouTube. If you've not went ahead and joined our membership, check out our membership right down below. Get started for only $1. You're going to get 20 download credits. That's five cents a download for a cut file or a font. You can poke around our Facebook group. You can check out our member only content and so much more when you give us a trial for only a dollar. That's a seven day trial. And then you'll be a monthly member, which we can't wait to see you inside the membership. If you're already a member, comment down below. I'm a member and share with me your favorite feature. Thanks so much for watching till the end. I can't wait to see you in the next video. If you want to keep watching, check out this video. I know you'll love it. See you guys. Bye.